I am David, your developer on duty, and in this video we will see how to use NIM to create a simple web server. To start a new project we can use the package manager Nimble and type Nimble init and then the name of our package, in this case it will be web server. We want it to be a binary. Initial version is fine, a description is a simple web server, MIT license, and that's it. Now we have this folder web server, and in this folder there's a web server nimble where we can declare our dependencies, and we have in source our web server.nim file. Now we need to add our dependencies in our web server.nimble file. We need Jester as our web framework and Norm as our ORM. Now we can execute the nimble install to install our dependencies. Now let's head back to our main file. In sourcewebserver.nim we can remove all this generated text and we want to import HTML gen to generate some HTML and import Chester for our web server. And now we can just define our routes by writing routes. Then the name of the HTTP method, in this case get, for the root, and we want to respond with some HTML h1 tag, and we want to write welcome to employee central. Let's see if this works. We run our server with nim r source webserver.nim, and it's running. Now we can send some HTTP requests to this address. And you can see the response is welcome to employee central in some nice h1 text. Let's continue by creating our domain model. For this we need to import from norm our model and SQLite. And then we can write type employee which is a ref object of model. And employee has a first name and the last name of type string. And every employee has a company of type company. And this we have to declare now. So company is again a ref object of model. And the company has a name of type string. Let's create our constructor functions. So func new company gets a name and by default it will be an empty string and it returns a company and the constructor of the type can be used where we say the name is the name. For the employee we do the same thing. First name shall be an empty string, last name shall be defaulted to an empty string again and company will be defaulted to new company and we return an employee and we write employee first name shall be first name last name shall be last name and company shall be company let's create a simple db connection by writing let db connection equals to open memory and then we provide some empty strings. So we want an in-memory SQLite database. And now we can define an additional endpoint for post requests on the slash deploy endpoint. And here we want to create some database table, writing db connect create tables. And now we just say new employee. And this will, under the hood, create the table for employee. And since employee depends on company, it will also create the tables for company. Now we can define some companies, for example, eCorp equals to new company of eCorp and also FUBA. And now we can create some employees which is an array of new employee of Peter Miller. 
and he shall be at ECOP as well as Michael Bass and he shall be at FUBA. And now we simply write db connection dot insert employees and we respond with deployment complete. Let's see if that runs. Okay, the server is running. Let's send this uh, HTTP POST request to this deploy endpoint and you can see the deployment is complete. Now let's create an endpoint to retrieve our employees. So we write get slash employees and here we define a variable called employees which shall be a sequence of new employee. Then we take our database connection and write select employees and we want only those employees with first name equals to Peter employee dot first name equals to Peter and then we need to respond in JSON so we write rest now this weird percentage star syntax employees and for this to work we need to import our JSON module now let's see if this works server is running let's hit this deploy endpoint first and now let's hit employees and you can see we get peter miller of company ecorp as you can see you don't need to write a lot of boilerplate code in them it's a very easy to learn language which lets you concentrate on the semantics of your program and with its powerful template and macro system one can create some nice domain specific languages which makes it a joy to work with it's also very fast, it's statically typed and compiled to C, so it runs almost everywhere. I hope you enjoyed my video, thanks for watching and stay tuned.